My name is Kevin Whitestone. I play Charlie Brightman on End Times. Well, he's been planting potatoes with the football team, and it's been going great. Coping the best that he can, which is not necessarily very well, but yeah, he's been working, he's been helping. Y you would hope that would be enough, and then of course, it, it kind of all goes to shit. We wouldn't have a plot without it. Fire. Uh, still working out exactly how he should interact with people. In particular, there's this new character who's named Ju Ying, who played by the wonderful Mi Kun Pham. She is um, not unattractive. He kind of, he wants to, to form this connection with her. Connection. He's been betrayed in the past, of course. He's had some bad experiences with a certain someone, uh, several certain someones. Really, how does he overcome that and learn how to be himself again after having experienced that? The dumbest thing that I did on set was that during my big scene, charging into this burning building, because I think my friends are in there. Which, you know, if, if they were in there, that would be a good idea, but it turns out they're not. And so I'm really going for it, and... I deliver my line, I start running, but I'm on gravel, and I fall on my face. And it is probably the single most in-character moment I've had on camera. It really sums up Charlie's character arc. A lot of the times that we spent just hanging out as a cast, not necessarily on the film set, because being on the film set is, is great, and it's really enjoyable but there's a certain amount of business that has to happen despite how we might have acted during our shoots uh... next i'm hopefully going to graduate college fingers crossed uh after that um Next question. How hard it was. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be easy, but you, you kind of expect to show up. It's like, okay, you do your takes and maybe you get, you get like a couple of them and they'll be good. No, you get time for far fewer takes than you think. And then you run into technical difficulties like the camera battery breaks or dies and then you have to find an outlet in the middle of a public park. All the technical stuff that gets in, in the way of the creative process. As a person who had never done film before, that was something I was not really anticipating going in. So End Times at its core is thematically a story about chronic illness. I did not get to play the character who most directly deals with those themes, which is, of course, Kimber. I'm, I'm not sure how much of the audience is aware of this, but I, I'm al also a chronically ill person. I, I have type 1 diabetes. It, it was really nice getting to work on something that dealt with that. It, it's a big part of my life. It's something I have to think a lot about every day. And there's a lot of anger and, and frustration that comes with, with a disease like that, and so it was very nice to get to work on something where I got to, to channel a bit of that out, even though maybe not directly in, in my character. End Times to me is largely a group of friends. Those people are really what make End Times, what made the process of making End Times special for me. Until the end. <laughs>
you would still have malnutrition. Alex, this is not your interview. Get off the couch. But here's the thing about potatoes. So, so, you know, they did a really big experiment to determine that you can, in fact, live on nothing but potatoes for a very long time. And that experiment is called the country of Ireland.